Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, 3.30. We'll call the April 27th, 2021 Parliament Authority meeting in order. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get to item number one, any additions or revisions to the agenda? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the agenda as presented? So moved. Second, Mr. Chair. First by Rick, second by Dave. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carried. Okay, on to item number one, approval of the March 30th minutes. Move to approve. Second. First by Rick, second by Mike. All those in favor say aye. 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 Same sign. Okay, any old business to bring, bring before the authority? Hearing none, we'll move on to number three, new business, Rob. All right, we'll start with the financial statements, page four. <clears throat> As you can see, the right hand or the left hand side is the month of March. Um, the right hand side would be year to date, so the first quarter of 2021. Enough said. Uh, so for the month of March, we had six event days, attendance of 20, just over 28,000, or about 5,300 below budget. Uh, total event income of 180,000 compared to a budget of 350,000. Uh, so below budget there as well. Um, but the good news is we were also below budget on the indirect expenses. We had expenses of just about 328,000 compared to a budget of 355,000. Uh, so for the month of March, we had a net deficit of 25,000 compared to a budget of uh, just over $136,500 surplus. So we're still on the wrong side, but uh, getting closer to zero in a month, yeah. but Take it. Uh, so for the events, <clears throat> one of the main reasons for the 160,000 difference is obviously we ran a concert through the budget uh, for 2021. If you recall back in April, May of 2020, when nobody knew what was going on, we kind of placed a, a budget. And at that time we were thinking that we wouldn't still be living this wonderful a dream uh, so we were a little more optimistic and we'd actually put eight concerts in to make up for it so we have to start running them through because we're obviously not going to hit eight concerts for for 2021 uh, so that's the deficit there on the NDSU side the positive side they did have two uh, football games in March uh, up to approximately 50% capacity one that with the UND game that nearly hit that and uh, then the Illinois State was slightly below that, so that was 68000 above budget. Family events, the rodeo did not happen, uh, so 65000 below there. We also ran a budgeted theater show through. And then on the trade show side, the sportsman show happened, but was slightly below budget uh, due to slight, a little bit lower ancillary revenues uh, with a little lower attendance. And then the Sugar Beach Expo, which was budgeted, also did not happen. On the expense side, labor uh, continues to track below budget, about 14,500 below budget. <clears throat> the GNA, about 4,400 below budget, due primarily to that reduction in the liability insurance. We'll keep reminding you that that is subject to an audit uh, at the end of the year uh, based on how many attendees we have. So they, they have the right to put that up on a per attendee basis. Operations was right about budget. Um, lots of activity in, in March with NDSU practicing every day, uh, some ice and, and things needing that. So on the, on the utility side, still had to keep the building cooled and, and occupied uh, throughout the day there. Any questions on the month of March? Year to date then, uh, you can see we had a budget of a $67,000 surplus, but we currently are showing about a $316,000 deficit. Uh, again, uh, the one concert coming through on the positive side, three NDSU football games, obviously at, at limited capacity, so a total of about $103,000. Uh, with the rodeo we talked about, the theater event, as well as the expenses from the Mercy Me cancellation. Um, trade shows below budget. We had the boat show, we've had the sportsman show, but uh, compared to budget with the sugar beet show, the coin soybean show, and the home and garden show not happening, uh, those have a pretty big effect 
on the number. Uh, amateur sports wrestling did happen, but at a reduced capacity. Uh, so we were below budget on that. And then uh, a combined with Fight the Frost, Kiwanis Pancake, Feed, uh, the Spring Career Fair for NDSU, those all did not happen, but um, didn't result in that much of a loss with the three, three events, although it was 25,000 below budget there, and then with Monster Jam not happening as well. On the indirect side, we still uh, continue to try to do what we can with keeping labor as down as much as possible. Uh, Full-time overtime, pretty much non-existent. Um, and so we're below budget there, and operations also can try to control as much expenses as they can. Not as many events, but still a lot of activity with football practicing in the building nearly every day, uh, miscellaneous things here and there. Questions on the finances? I move to approve the March 2021 financial statements. Second. Second. Okay. Roll call. Nancy? Yes. David? Yes. Blake? Yes. Rick? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dan? Yes. Troy? Yes. Thank you. Uh, moving on then to page 13, past and upcoming events. We talked a little about a little bit, but since our last meeting on March 30th, uh, we did have a youth football event on Sunday the 11th. <clears throat> I think four games with that was a new event, uh, things uh, went, went okay, generally okay, about as expected for that. Uh, promoter of that has expressed some interest to, to come back, uh, just trying to hunt down dates and work through some other things. Uh, then also on the 17th, it was supposed to be April 3rd, but uh, uh, the football game with SDSU was postponed to Saturday the 17th, so we had that game. Um, and then they rolled right into this past week with playoffs uh, against Eastern Washington. Uh, had about 3,400, 3,500 people here um, for that. Any comments, questions, past events from the board? Mm -hmm. Moving forward, uh, obviously this week at NDSU football is actually on the road for the playoff game, first time since, what, 2010? Uh, so down at Sam Houston State, <clears throat> we'll wait to see the results there. Uh, so we're still holding next weekend, the 7th and or 8th, for a possible playoff game. I think the scenario is, is that if NDSU were to win and if UND were to win, which frankly I hope both of those scenarios happen, um, that there would be a possibility that one of those two teams uh, would host that national semifinal game. So, but I think that's the only scenario that would happen is both, both of the North Dakota teams would have to win. So, um, other than that, uh, we'd actually, you can see the, the Fargo Fire stuff, that's outside for all the next two weeks. They're actually inside doing some training here. So utilizing some downtime in the building to uh, make sure they're uh, familiar with the facility and, and can handle the different types of rescues they may have. Then uh, in two weeks on Friday, Saturday, May 15th, NDSU commencement is holding their in-person in spring commencement ceremonies. There'll be two ceremonies uh, set up a little differently. Uh, they've decided to do a, a fully distanced set, uh, but actually they'll, the stage will be up along the west side and they'll play, play to the east, so we'll have seating on the north north, south, and east sides, and the graduates will be spread out uh, on, the f on the entire field floor. Uh, the following week, Sanford Health is having an employee event on the floor, and then that takes us up to our next meeting on May 25th, which is a reminder that is the budget meeting as well. Questions on any upcoming past events, future events? Uh, you know, an update, we still have Guns N' Roses on the books for August 11th. Uh, here, still hearing some act, potential of some activity um, with the rest of the year, but uh, most, most are having an eye to 2022. Um, so we're just kind of working through and, but based on our schedule, how we're seeing it here starting uh, the 1st of May, with commencement, with high school graduations, with Happy Harry's Rib Fest, with USA Wrestling, we're kind of getting back into our, our normal <clears throat> slate of, of events uh, 
uh, in the times that they're supposed to happen with the hopes of having 18 and a half, 19,000 people here on September 4th for, or is it third or fourth for NDSU football versus Albany, I believe. Any uh, questions? Our uh, home and garden, the sugar beet, corn, and soybean, are they holding dates for 22 already? Or? Home and garden is. They are, okay. And uh, corn and soybean is, are. Okay. They, uh, but the sugar beet show is the one that's in rotation every other year. So I was hoping they would flip that every other year, but they've decided to be up in Grand Fork, so there'll be a three year absence here. Which um, we like to focus on annual events here, right, so right. Uh, it, it kind of becomes a, a filler date once you come every one, every three years, once every three years. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good. Okay. So yeah, all, you know, the the Monster Jam is also holding, you know, looking yeah, okay. at hopefully 2022 dates. The rodeo is looking at coming back in 2022. So all those, all those first and second quarter events that have not happened, uh, 2020 and now 2021, are all eyeing 2022 as their comeback here. That's good. Yeah. Okay. What about the district? Are they doing their commencements here? They are. They are. They are. Okay. Yep. They reached out. We met, and they are, uh, or Jamie met with them, and they are, they are planning in person, the noon, noon three, noon three and six on. They believe it's Sunday, June 6th this year. I think that had gone well for them on the football field, so I was wondering if they did it. It did. Uh, I can say that on the day that they were happening, because I was jealous, because that was the day my son was supposed to be graduating from Moorhead High, and we, we didn't get to have that. I think the wind kind of, uh, well, yeah, it was extremely, it was extremely windy that day. So, so they, uh, they, are, they are, at least for 2021, are coming back in Sunday. Any other comments on events? If not, we'll move on to 3B committee reports. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the building and finance committees met on April 21st. The uh, first item there, A, March financial reports. We've already reviewed those, unless there's any other additional questions. We'll move on to B. The food and beverage POS system. There was a uh, number of bids, seven responses to the RFP. Uh, there was a motion and approval to award the bid to Appetize for $141,134 for the initial hardware, software, installation, and training costs, and $34,798 for the annual software subscription costs. And Rob, if you need to jump in on any of these, just feel free <coughs> to do so. Uh, C, the canopy repair bids. There were a number of responses for the uh, canopy uh, repair and um, the base bid addresses the cracking and shifting of the support columns. There's also pricing to repair the joints on the exterior of the building. Uh, Rob requested that we go ahead with both parts of the, of the bids. And so there was a motion and approval to accept the bid from Ram Construction and set the project budget at $487,400 uh, plus contingency architectural engineering costs to be funded out of this surplus fund. C, no, D, capital budget reallocation. Uh, there was a request to reallocate 12,000 from the 2021 budget unallocated to mechanical chilled water flow testing and an analysis. Uh, that motion as indicated was approved. With that, the next two items are project updates. The next item is fire system. Uh, Rob, if you want to maybe talk about the fire system a little bit, where we're at with that. And we're currently with, out for bid for that. Bids are due, uh, or proposals are due back here next Thursday, May 6th. Uh, that'll be a, a full replacement of the fire alarm system inside the Fargo Dome. Uh, just like the exterior joint caulking uh, re repair replacement, the building's 30, going on 30 years old. That's the original fire alarm system. Um, actually meet, met with Fargo Fire, the engineer on that, and, and we're able to remove some things such as uh, beam detectors inside the arena and actually a lot of the pull stations throughout the facility uh, because it's a fully sprinkled facility, things such as that. So uh, those proposals will be due back May 6th. The, that is a budgeted item in the 2000, in the current capital budget. Um, and also have some other 
dollars earmarked if we need to put a little bit more into those uh, into that project to get it fully completed essentially uh, there'll be a time where we're running off of two systems and having a fire watch person for some events uh, would be started in june hopefully completed by the first of october all right and then maybe just carry on with the led lighting project talk about that a little bit please <coughs> led lights uh you know as we continue with everything we're looking at going to LED lighting in all of our spaces. However, if you bite it off at once, it's an extremely large number. So we've kind of got different phases that we're looking at. Um, you know, if you recall the dressing room catering area project that we did uh, this past year, we replaced all that lighting in the Westfield level hallway and all the rooms with, with LED lighting. We continue throughout the, the corridors and storage rooms of the lower level. Uh, flip the concourse all over to LED lighting uh, and then up into the meeting rooms up here, the office spaces, uh, storage areas, and then eventually into the arena and put all LED lighting into all those areas along with the arena side and concourse side. Um, just looking at part of it would be sprucing the building up some. so. Uh, some of the advertising, permanent advertising in the corners would get a, a redo, a relook, kind of, if you will, uh, similar to what's in the northeast corner of the building right now. Uh, and then in the meeting room areas, uh, it's been about 12 years since we redid the carpeting and wall covering. It, it's wearing, you, you can see that, so it's time to replace carpeting and wall covering and and ceiling tile and stuff in these areas here too so that's kind of what's growing it so there has been a little uh, scope creep so to speak but um, when a building remodel or addition happens on a grand scale these are areas that really aren't touched so they also need to be spruced up as well thanks <clears throat> the last item was we reviewed uh, the escrow balance in, in the permanent fund for the Fargo Dome and note that their balance, current balance as of the end of February, 48205000 Year-to-date return about 15.3%. <coughs> so awesome performance there. Any questions? Just keep in mind on that $48 million, uh, that's before the, Susan, how much is coming out? about 1.2 million to pay for other projects that we're in process of, but even still, uh, still around 47 million after that deduction, so. All right, that concludes Finance Committee report. Okay, thanks Rick. Um, we got a motion by the chair. Move to approve. Thank you. We don't need a second, so we'll do roll call. Nancy? Yep. David? Yes. Blake? Yes. Rick? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dan? Yes. Brooke? Yes. Thank you. We move on to uh, no, or item number four here from the nominating committee. Nominating Mr. Mr. Chair, Troy and, I, Troy and I met within a secret bunker in Western North Dakota wearing our masks and reviewed all, <laughs> the, potential <laughs> and reviewed all the potential candidates for the executive committee. And after serious consideration, we are recommending the renewal of current executive chairs being Mr. Blake at President, Mr. Mike at Vice President, Mr. Rick at Treasurer, and, and Mr. Dan at Secretary. That would be our proposed slate for executive committee. Any discussion on those recommendations? Okay. Hearing none, I entertain a motion. I am not on that slate or on the I move. For a unanimous approval, in fact, <laughs> Mr. Chair. Yeah, Steve Wolf. First by Nancy, second by Troy. So, Nancy? Yes. Dan? Yes. Slate? Yes. Rick? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dan? Yes. Troy? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any, That's all that's <laughs> Any other additional <laughs> items? <laughs> Hearing done, we are here.